I've used the 2018 World Migration Report in several ways in my work. Firstly, I've used it as a wonderful teaching tool. So I recently taught um, a new course called Migration and Human Rights at the Harvard Kennedy School. It's a graduate level course for a broad range of different students from the government department or policy, but also from the law school and from the School of Public Health and a range of different um, disciplinary backgrounds. And I found that several of the chapters were just perfect as introductory overview pieces for introducing the students to a topic such as, for example, the rate of migration in different parts of the world, who's going in, who's going out, or some of the questions, some of the other questions about ethics and so on. Um, and also, I think some of the graphics are really useful. They're very clear, they're concise, they're accessible, they're eminently PowerPointable. So um, I would say that's one really big use, and I think I'm going to carry on doing that. It's a really a, a great resource. Secondly, I've used it myself just to get a sense of a broad consensus overview, which I may or may not always agree with. It's not an in-depth, obviously not an in-depth peer-reviewed source. But it's a very useful, very well-written, competent, lucid uh, account of a consensus position on, on central issues. And so I've used it as well when I'm giving talks or lectures um, as something to quote and something to draw people's attention to. I think it's not only, as I say, is it very well written, but also nicely researched. And so you can check the footnotes. People who want to find out more can look at the footnotes and uh, you know deepen their knowledge. So. It's something I, I really uh, commend to people as, as a useful overview of a particular topic.